Hello there guys, it's Captain Invisible here and welcome to a live commentary battle for Medieval 2 Total War. Um, so yeah, this one's going to be live, uh, we're just in the lobby now, just uh, setting up an army. Um, it's an interesting scenario, Muslims vs Christians. Um, it'll be, it's going to be quite a fun match. Uh, there's no rules apparently, so we can bring whatever craziness uh, we want and it is uh, the Moors apparently versus uh, Portugal and England um, so in terms of an army I was thinking of bringing artillery <laughs> I know Apollo hates artillery on field battles and I have to agree with him it's it's usually very terrible um, but in terms of Portugal, I have a feeling Portugal is going to Portugal is going to have, in fact, Portugal and Venice. Uh, they have quite strong infantry, even in this period. Uh, but we do have Christian Guard. Uh, what I was gonna say is they're gonna have strong, um, strong missiles as well. Which would, which would make sense for me to rush with something like Egypt, with Nafatums and things. Um, but I don't trust uh, Mr. Squizzy to uh, perform that well. So we're going to stick with the Moors. We're going to go with a standard build and maybe bring some artillery and just hope for the best. Uh, no rules, so I can bring as much cavalry as I want, um, but I am expecting pike men from at least Portugal, so... Um, do with some camels, I don't care. no rules, I can bring camel gunners, but they're pretty expensive. But they are good. Okay, yeah, no rules, let's bring a camel gunner. And then... Let's see... Maybe a couple of these guys, these uh, other camels, just to add, add to the morale effect. Um, I'm gonna need some Christian guard. Probably gonna need four of these guys. It's probably gonna be my money spent. Um, let's bring three of these guys. Let's get rid of the upgrades. I think we can do without upgrades. So we just need a full, full army. Three of those guys. Up with those guys and I'm looking for a couple of crossbow men as well. Maybe I need some weaker weaker cav. Thinking of using these grenadine lancers, I've not used these guys before. They are expensive. Okay, that looks fairly reasonable. Bernie man, it's low, low money. Yeah, I think we could make do with that. Yeah, let's go for it. So, uh, let's jump into this battle and see uh, see what madness the other players have uh, in store for us. Uh, as I say, I'm going to be, be doing this one live, so we'll, uh, we'll create some chaos and uh, hopefully I'll be able to at least try and commentate for you guys as well uh, in this battle. Um, it's on the Spanish plane, so we've got some Spanish uh, a Spanish battlefield to fight on.
Okay, so we're in. Uh, me and Mr. Squizzy are going to do some, uh, cause some chaos. Um, I'm going to need to deploy by Mr. Squizzy because I don't trust him one bit. In fact, he has this nice hill. We're going to have to really use this hill. To get the most out of our units. deploy first because I always make the mistake of trying to type to someone and then it ends up quitting my uh, quitting my uh, deployment these guys up front to scream these and the camels on the flank they're my camel gunners They're ready to cause havoc. Uh, General's bodyguard. Excellent. So we've got a pretty, uh, well, pretty nice army for a, a low money game. Nothing too extreme. Uh, as I say, I never use these grenadine lancers. Uh, I do love the. Um, I actually really love the armor upgrades on the uh, the grenadine lancers. Um, it's the same one that you get on the Christian Guard, the same armor as the Christian Guard and on the Urban Militia, the defense upgrade on the Urban Militias. Always oh, so sweet. Uh, so what have we got from my ally? Um, three units of Cav, what Cav does he have? Looks like some Camel Gunners. Three units of those guys, very impressive. Um, a very very nice pick if, if you're really going heavy on the uh, camel gunners uh, it's gonna cause some some epic morale damage there um, so, but it might need some cav support so I'll, I might have to send in my grenadine lancers up here uh, urban militias uh, dismantled christian guard urban militia a couple of spearmen so he can he can defend himself with spearmen He's got a lot of Christian Guard. Good. Excellent. This is going to be interesting. Um, so the reason for the Camel Gunners is to basically cause a morale shock. And against someone like Venice, it's going to cause some real disruption and pain. Um, the crossbowmen are just there to screen. Um, I do like the peasant crossbowmen. They are very fun to play with. Um, I might actually rush them and deploy them up here with my ally. In fact, I might just rush up to meet my ally anyway, but yeah, rush my crossbowmen up here. So they've got the ridge line and they've got uh, support from my ally. Um, cavalry, my cavalry can screen his infantry. I, I might send my grenadine lancers up here um, just to screen this side of his force because his camel gunners are okay, but they're not going to be able to... Um, to fight other cavalry very very well, so he'll need that screen. Um, currently got Russian King having problems with his uh, connection. Okay, so yeah, let's rush these guys up. Get these guys moving. Move my own infantry force slightly to his flank. Leave my leave that cavalry on the flank, but move my general up. Uh, we do have artillery from our opponents. Some trebuchets. And there are some musketeers on the field. So we've got a very very defensive position. It looks like the enemy is trying to outflank uh, uh, my ally with a lot of these uh, light cav, the uh, genetes. But that's what my uh, 
what my camera gunners are for, for uh, harassing the enemy. Might just uh, move back slightly. So if Venice wants to push, now would be the perfect time uh, for him to do that. We're gonna have some camera gunner action. Weak shots against these uh, these uh, genitiers. My own camel gunners are going to get into the mix. Back with life. We're gonna get caught. All the enemy heavy cabs going that way, so this is possibly a distraction. The genitors are running off, so yeah, I could do with my camel guns back over on this side. I think my eyes hand handled that very well, so I can move my uh, my grenadine lancers back over. We've got a push being made by Portugal onto this flank. So I can just let my ally know to move. This way. Then that will twist Venice's flank with any look. See, he's moving forward. Yes, now. Catch Venice's flank whilst he's moving. So yeah, we're going to uh, cause some mayhem. Uh, let's get our camera gunners over here and we should be able to shoot up the Venice, uh, Venetian flank. Use our peasant crossbowmen as the meat shield that they are. Strong position. We get some shots off against some of these uh, heavy knights of uh, Venice. The more of them we can cut down, the better. Looks like he's trying to shoot my cab, so those guys need to go back. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> 
I hate games with connection issues. some losses there for, from our cab but we're now in a position to really hit the uh, hit the musketeers in fact do we need to aim for the musketeers it would actually be better to aim for the cab force him to actually do something with his cab Very nasty, but it wasn't to the peasants, so be thankful for that. We're currently shooting up his cav and his infantry on this flank. Um, we've got some enemy some allied Christian guard moving forward, that's a bit weird. Right, see a weakness, take advantage of it. Come on, guys. <laughs> God, this is going to be terrible. Uh, it's going to be one of those games. I see. <laughs> oh, and we've got this cabin out of here. And uh, my Christine guard are routing. Uh, good for them. And well, we need to apply the uh, apply the hammer. So behold let's do our it. worthless foe. See how their general turns tail and flees like a whipped dog. And the enemy general is routing. That's going to be excellent. cause a chain route which we can completely exploit going to be in the mix. Excellent. These, uh, this morale damage caused by our camel gunners is really helping us out here. And the enemy covering their backs routers so we can start using our crossbow men. against these musketeers, they are not doing us any good. Ok, 
keep up the uh, momentum. Sour through this battle. Uh, still, still time. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. We are getting at the uh, breaks we require. Our men have slain the infidel general. Now the serpent's head has been cut off. The tail is sure to wither. This is what I needed. This is the kind of breaking that I that I needed to do on this flank. Just need all my cavalry over here. Going to be met with some very nasty, uh, nasty foes in a second. And I have mercy. We have lost half of our men. Nice, uh, nice chain route. This is what these camel gunners are, are made for. They're made for these kinds of routes. with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. There's still a lot of these uh, these troops dotted about. We need to uh, route these guys as quickly as possible. safe to say that we're, uh, we're cleaning, uh, cleaning up this Only battle for the, the most part. Must pray they lose their will to fight. Oh, 
So they've still got a lot of gunners and probably still a lot of dangerous uh, units dotted about. I think I'm gonna leave my general to die there. I think he's, uh, <laughs> I think he's not not long, for, not not long for this world anymore. But I think, uh, I think as I said, we've uh, we've got this for the most part. So I can uh, risk letting him uh, fight it out. I'm hoping this cav will break anyway. Excellent. So yeah, we're just gonna uh, mop up these uh, these forces. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. <laughs> Drive them from the battle. So, I think, unless there's something left of Ven uh, Venice, I think just these guys. We are all, uh, all clear. Just gonna shoot it, shoot at these guys with our crossbowmen. Certainly got plenty of, uh, ammo left. Yeah, an interesting, an interesting battle. I'm glad, I'm glad that uh, what's his name, Mc Mc uh, uh, followed my direction quite well. Actually, uh, pushing on this flank meant that they could couldn't defend Venetian's weaker flank with their with their forces quicker than quicker than we could basically roll up it. And uh, uh, Venice's morale is shocking. And uh, that obviously proves that there's uh, that applying that pressure and applying it constant is the way to go in these uh, these battles. Um, is that everything? I'm pretty sure that'll be all the all the troops now. Oh no, there's some there's some forces down here. Some of these Lantuna spearmen, who did quite well actually. Um, I'm pretty impressed with these guys. In fact, you'll be able to see the stats of these guys because me and my uh, ally played as uh, played as the most, so we'll be able to see how well his his troops did. Uh, I'm pleased with my cavalry though. These uh, Grandine lancers are not not to be sniffed at. They are uh, quite impressive little uh, units for their for their price. What is left?
are these guys? Bloody, uh, the Russian king and he's not wanting to uh, die. <laughs> Oh, there's some forces here as well. God, he just needs to admit defeat. <laughs> there's really no shame in it. Do a bit of a uh, running and gunning with our uh, camel gunners. This is a day of there victory. Those lie dead or dying, as it should be. Excellent. So let's uh, take a look at these statistics and see uh, see how everyone did. And I'd like to apologise for the connection issues. I don't know uh, who was causing it, but uh, yeah, it, it happens. It happens a lot. Um, so yeah, um, I I knew that I was going to do you know, quite well. So. Uh, a good good amount of kills there. Quite a lot of captures as well. I didn't expect that from uh, from this alley, but I guess my grenadine lancers were chasing off the routing cab, which was routing due to the uh, gunners. Uh, my ally doing you okay. You're playing his part quite well. Uh, as I say, he he followed instruction quite quite well in this battle. So uh, look out for Mr. Uh, Mr. McSquizzy. Uh, he is uh, he is willing to learn. <laughs> Well, then I can say for a lot of uh, players. Uh, and then Nightly Games and Russian King uh, getting similar kills actually, um, 413 and 419. Uh, let's check out these statistics. Uh, me first. Uh, my general having to play his part, so um, he did quite well. Uh, Christian Guard uh, not doing too bad, uh, 104 kills. Uh, Gradient Lancers didn't actually do that well, but they were, as I said, they were cheap, nice cheap in, uh, cavalry, and, you yeah, know, they, they did survive, so, um, good for them. Uh, Camel Gunners, this is why you always bring Camel Gunners, 70 kills, and, to be honest, I wasn't even using them very effectively. Uh, they were just running around the battlefield, just causing mayhem, causing routes, which is, again, what they're supposed to be. They like, they like the mounted Nafatoons, uh, of the Moors. Um, Turek Camel Spearmen, again, just there to cause fear, um, they didn't do too, too well, but as I say, a fear unit, uh, nevertheless. Uh, Christian Guard having to, you know, work for their kills. Um, the Urban Militia, uh, doing slightly better than the Christian Guard, actually, at least, at least these two, so, yeah, Urban Militia are not to be sniffed at in terms of, uh, being, uh, being units. Um, and then the peasant crossbowmen laying down some nice fire um, on that hill, which is where I wanted them. Uh, Mr. McSquizzy, uh, his uh, Christian guard, not doing too well actually, but there were versus, uh, Ven Venetian units, so Venice can bring some quite nasty infantry uh, to tie those guys down. Uh, urban militia, again, doing slightly better than the Christian guard. I don't know what it is about these urban militia, but... In these cheaper games, they really do really well. Now, Christian got here with three kills. That's that's been charged by cavalry clearly. Um, camel gunners not doing too bad. 
Uh, another mission here, three kills. Again, probably got hit by Cav. Despite the Christian Guard again, 11 kills. He really didn't protect his infantry very well. Um, I'm assuming these are all against you. Know, these are all cavalry kills because I don't. I don't know how anything can kill infantry so so much and you know, leave so little kills behind. Uh, especially on Christian Guard because Christian Guard will fight regardless of what you throw at them. Uh, unless it's Cav, as I said. Uh, Lantuna Spearman getting 30 kills, so uh, quite good for a Spearman unit. Uh, Archer's not doing too bad. Peasants just getting slaughtered. Dismounted Tureg, uh, 12 kills. So, you yeah, know, not too bad on my allies' part. His, um, he didn't have a lot of cavalry. I mean, the cavalry did have with these camel gunners, and they did, you know, quite well. Um... Other than that, he had he had a few decent units doing well, you know, Lantuna Spearmen, the um, a unit of urban militia, and uh, I say it's camel gunners. But other than that, his his units weren't really that effective. Whereas mine were uh, were more cost effective. Um, these peasant crossbow men again are really cost effective units. The urban militia are nice for cheaper, lower money games. Um, and even though the, my, my Grenadine Lancers didn't do too well, my my mounted Christian Guard uh, got a lot of kills, and my General was uh, obviously in the mix. Speaking of which, I don't think my ally brought a General. Yeah, didn't bring a General's Bodyguard. Uh, General's Bodyguards are the mainstay of any army. Um, they are, they have, well, they have two hit points, and they're a heavy cav. <laughs> You can't go wrong with a general's bodyguard uh, for protecting your general, even if he has to get stuck in like mine did. Uh, my my general didn't die and he was in the action non-stop, so yeah, you really can't go wrong with a general's bodyguard. Um, anyway, that was the battle. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As I say, it is a live battle, so I hope you all enjoyed my uh, my live uh, battling skills. Um, what's what's your know, left of them anyway? Um, and I say I hope to bring you some more live commentary battles in the future, um, but there are reasons why I don't play them that often. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next video.